Welcome back at the E2E Paint Shop. In this video, I'd like to show you how I create a kind of theme bike. In the background, you can see a Merida time warp frame turning, and this frame belongs to Martina. Martina is a triathlete and she lives in Hamburg, Germany, and asked me if I can do a kind of Hamburg memorial style bike out of this frame set. And these are things I like very much because I can leave the typical way of cycle design with a lot of logos stick to the frame and I can turn to a kind of story or a kind of history I can add along the tubes of the frame. If you think of Hamburg, maybe you think of the famous Reeperbahn or Hamburg Harbor. But Martina had a different idea about her Hamburg memorial style bike and she sent me a sketch I like to show you Martina's ideas. What you can see here are famous Hamburg buildings such as Elbphilharmonie and Three Towers. In the middle, the Television Tower. On the left, the St. Michaelis Church, Hamburg Michel, and on the right, the Tower of the Hamburg Landing Stages. She has also a kind of slogan for her bike, Life is Movement with a small black feather. <coughs> What she also likes are these small outlines along the frame and around the buildings. All these are elements I have to include in Martina's Hamburg style bike. As I've seen this design, I told her that I think the design is kind of flat and my wish is to add more detail and also a kind of 3D effect in between the single elements. Let's change to the design I created for Martina. And what I can tell you is that she likes the design very much and I appreciate it that I can paint the design I created for Martina on her frame. But at first I like to show you the difference and what I added to the design. Let's start with the buildings. I also included the black fill-in and the green outline Martina added to her design. Let's check this black fill-in and the outline compared to my design. What I've done is I added also a lot of green highlights and these highlights give the buildings the 3D effect I like and they let the buildings pop out more than the single flat design. I like to show you how I create these graphics. I start with a picture of the building. Here you can see the St. Michaelis church and the first step is to add the black fill-in. If you want to know how I created this black fill-in, please check out also the cycle design video, the cycle logo video. In this video, I'll show you how I create cycle logos. And if you understand how I create these logos, you will also understand how I created this black fill-in because it's the same way. Check out the cycle logo video and you will understand how to create such a graphic. The second step is to add the green highlights, I will remove the black fill-in and you can see that these green highlights match some highlights on the building. You don't need to add too much of these highlights, only some and you will see that you get this 3D effect. I will remove the picture and you can see the ready painted graphic. Let's change to the design. And what you can also see is that I added another layer of color with design elements. The frame will get flat black, the buildings glossed black with the green outline. And what I've done is I added a medium gray layer. And in this layer I added some typical Hamburg design elements such as the sailing ship or some seagulls. And with this layer with the third layer, I get also some more 3D effect I like. What I also added is an anchor with the Hamburg sign in the middle and the slogan Ahoy. Martina wants to change this Ahoy to Moin and Moin in North Germany means hello. So if you visit Hamburg or North Germany, say Moin and all the Hamburg citizens like you very much if you say Moin instead of hello. That's how I created such a design. And you can see that these elements get a rich design compared to the former one Martina sent me. 
What I like to do now is I like to change to the paint booth to prepare the frame and I like to show you also all the painting steps necessary to transfer this design on the time warp frame. So let's change to the paint booth and let's start painting this Hamburg design. Let's start with the sanded, prepped and primed frame. I decided to spray from dark to light colors. So let's start with the deep black as the filling color for the graphics. Let's start with masking. What I've masked are the buildings on the right side of the C-tube and I have to do the same on the left side. I have to mask all the black areas and then I can spray the next layer of color. For the next painting step, I loaded the big gun with a lot of color and I will add the flat black to the frame. Let's start painting. After the application of the flat black base color on the frame, the fork and the seat post, I thought about the design yesterday in the evening and I changed my opinion about the order of the colors. To paint the sailing ship and the seagulls on the down tube, I will change this area to a mid-gray, apply these stencils and after the application I will change the area again to the flat black base color. Let's look at this, I added some fluffy clouds to the down tube and these clouds give this scene a little bit more detail. Let's remove the stencils so we can see how it looks.
Here we have the seagulls. And I will remove also the sailing ship. And now you can see how this looks with the clouds. I added all the mid-gray graphic elements to the frame, the feather and some of the striping. And the next step will be the green outline. To spray the green outline around the buildings and around the anchor, I have to remove all the masking on the buildings before I can start remasking all the green areas. I masked the green outline around the buildings and now it's time for the neon green. I will start with a white base coat in this area and over this white base coat I will spray a thin layer of this neon green. The outline is sprayed and I can demask all the buildings. I have to do the same with the anchor and the logo sign on the down tube. And when all these areas are green outlined, I can apply a first layer of clear coat. Welcome to the finishing party. All graphics are sprayed on the frame and the next and last step is to apply the clear coat. I have to apply two different finishes, a flat one on the flat black and also the glossy one on all the graphic elements. I will start with the glossy clear coat and tomorrow I will mask all the graphics and I will also apply the flat clear coat. Friday in the afternoon and the frame is ready painted. 
The glossy clear coat is also the flat clear coat and there's only one thing I have to do before I can drive to a fast food restaurant for some good hamburgers. I have to remove the last set of masking film that saves the glossy areas. There's nothing more to say from my side. I will enjoy my hamburger. Please enjoy the Hamburg style bike. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.